All right, another example. We're looking at a second survey now that was conducted for the parent cell phone, parent teen cell phone survey. This one was done in 2018. They looked at 1,016 to 17 year olds and found that 853 were texting while driving. Now we're gonna do a 99% confidence interval for the proportion of teens that are texting and driving in 2018. So again, if this is a, well, let's look at what I've got. Let's see, um, 1,000 16 to 17 year olds and 853 are texting and driving, 99% confidence interval. And again, I'm given the word proportion, that's helpful. They're asking the question, do you text while driving? That's also helpful because that's a yes, no question. So 99% confident, so my 99% confidence level means that 1% of the curve would be unshaded. So that's our alpha that we're going to use later to find the z-score. Other bits that we need, our sample size n is 1,000, and our x, the number of teens that are texting and driving, is 853. We're going to go through this by hand, and then we'll go ahead and check our work in Excel again. So I'm just going to, nope, it's not going to let me slide it over. We're just going to leave it then. So first thing, let's go ahead and find our p hat. So p hat is x over n, so 853 over 1,000 is 0 0.853. Remember, we want I want all decimals rounded to 4 or more if they have more than that. So don't stop at 2 just because you want to stop at 2. There's 3 here, so give me 3. If there's more than 4, that's when you can round to 4 for your p hat. When we do standard deviation and margin of error later, we're not going to round those, but we can round p hat. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to find our z alpha over 2. We're going to use Excel to do this. And I'm using Excel on my computer because I can't type over here in these squares. So if I have alpha equals 1%, first of all, 1% as a decimal is 0 0.01, not 0 0.1. So then alpha over 2 would be 0 0.01 divided by 2, which is 0 0.00. .00 Five. So I'm going to plug that in to norm.s.inverse. And I get a number that I don't have yet. But I'm working on it. Okay, negative 2.7. Five, nope, that's wrong. Five, seven, five, eight. We're going to ignore the negative. Because our Z score needs to be a positive number. But if we think about the symmetry of a curve, it's the same number, one's positive, one's negative. That gets taken care of in step three with the formula. So the Z alpha over two value is 2.5758. So now we can go ahead and plug it into the formula. I'm just gonna write the formula.
So our p hat is 0 0.853 plus and minus 2.5758 square root of 0 0.853 times 1 minus 0 0.853 over 1,000. You do addition and you get the upper bound. You do subtraction and you get the lower bound. So I'm going to start with the standard deviation. And I'm going to multiply that straight away. So this piece is our margin of error, and it's 0 0.028843325. So 0.853 minus 0 0.028843325. And I can go ahead and round this. Oh, I did minus first. So eight, two, four, two. And add it. So this is my upper bound, shorthand it to UB. And my lower bound, you can shorthand it as LB. So again, I did all of this work by doing it all by hand. So I found P hat. I found the Z score using my knowledge of a normal curve and the symmetry. And 99% is shaded, leaving 1% unshaded. And we need just one of the regions. And then I plugged it into the equation. So let's come over here into Excel and let's see if that's the correct answer. It's not letting me type. There we go. So we have 853 for X. Oops. We have 1000. Oopsies. And this was a 0 0.99 confidence level. It was a 99% confidence interval. So 99% as a decimal. And 0 0.8242, 0 0.8818. So the last step, whether you do it by hand or using Excel, is to interpret the interval. So we are 99% confident now. That the true percentage, I'll do one of the variations. of 16 to 17 year olds texting while driving in 2018 is between 82.42% and 88.18%. So somewhere between 82 and 88% of new drivers, because that's what 16 and 17 year olds are, they're new drivers, somewhere between 82 and 88% of them are texting and driving. It could be 83%. It could be 87%. It could be 88.18% exactly. 
I don't know where it falls in that range. All I know is that it falls somewhere in that range. And we used our sample proportion of 0.853 as our starting estimate to build this interval. So that is how you create confidence intervals for proportions.